Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy S4 mini. Now it's really simple, all we need is two fingers which you need to use to press two buttons and the screenshot is taken. So you do not need to install any particular app for this, Android itself supports this. After all, this is Android 4.2.2. The screenshot feature is is there even, um, even in the times of gingerbread, so you should not worry about anything of installing apps and so on. Okay, so to do this, Prepare your one finger into the home screen and the other into the power or walk button. So what you do now is you begin holding the power button and then immediately hold the home button. But do not release any of the buttons until you hear a shutter sound as well as an effect on the screen. So let me just show you. I'm going to increase the volume so that you can hear the effect. So I'm going to begin holding the power button and then I'll begin holding the home button and I'm going to release both. Okay. As you can see. We heard the shutter sound as well as an effect on the screen. You also should get a notification on the status bar claiming that a screenshot was captured as you can see. Anyways, let's do another test. For example, um, while having the browser open for instance, just to have more screenshots. So I'm gonna open up the browser. For example, let's take a screenshot of this web page while the browser is open once again. Follow the same steps. And it's very easy as you can see. Now you may wonder where the files are being stored. That is pretty simple as well. So close everything and to access them from the phone for example, basically go to my files and from here go to our files, then go to pictures, then you have a folder screenshots and this is where all the screenshots are located. Tap on the screenshot to open it up and as you can see these are the screenshots which I took. So you can now share this with friends on various forums and so on. It's very easy to take screenshot. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more tips in the future, more custom ROMs, more guides of this phone, please subscribe and thanks for watching and goodbye.